are you struggling with the Gran Turismo 7 time trials this week? Get out! Bleh. Well, if you are, please, let me be your guidance. Let me show you the ways of being a gold medaled player. Because I have been consistently getting gold medals and I want to share your guidance along with ah! It should have been me, not him! Along with the controller players because we can rise to the test and we can become the best of the best. We do not need sim rigs. We do not need, um, oh, what are they called? Oh shit. Um, I think the word you was looking for was the fanatic DD will. Shh, I won't tell anyone. <gasps> Who the fuck was you? What the f- Well, grab your controllers, strap on in, and be prepared for the drive of your life. I can't fucking- Dickhead! Oh, and slight disclaimer, I do play with zero assists, so if you're not sure how to get or how to disable your assists, I will show you before showing you the demonstrations and explaining how I did my run. So, yeah. Skibbity? Skibbity.
to explain in full detail how I completed this run and uh, just do it step by step and hopefully this will help you but it's not guaranteed I'm more of just a guidance not a how-to even though it's a how-to but it's also just guidance because you probably won't be able to replicate the exact same time as me you might get it better you might make it worse or slower but it's all about practice, persistence, and perseverance. So, without further ado, let's push forward. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, you shift. You want to start downshifting. Okay, there we go. So, you kind of want to start downshifting at this little grass bit. Just as you pass this. This is where you want to shift. Please, play manual. Do not be scared to play manual. It's not hard to learn and you will improve so please learn manual get off auto automatic it's not good for time trials especially in online time trials where everyone's on manual it's not no 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 for story for the campaign be my guest because it's unrealistic to the online aspects side so you just want to break or oh, it's not a break so you want to downshift just around here Okay, go past this, or whenever your um, backlight is kind of in line with it, that's when you want to start to downshift, okay? So then again, the second downshift, the gear 2, just uh, hitting the 50 mark, or if you don't want to use the 50 mark, you can use this line for reference where, like, your mm, diffuser in our oh, way you won't be able to see it but it's where the uh, diffuser is that's right there. that diffuser right there that's where you want to shift so just shift for the 50 mark if you can't catch this little line up there lots of line ups by the way I know it's very stressful so keeping the basic just shift to gear 2 just around here okay? doesn't have to be past it, it doesn't have to be like in line, you just want to shift the gear to before here, that's it, continuing on, okay so one thing with this car, with a lot of trial and error, with my settings, I don't know if the car is like that by default because obviously I didn't check it, but if you hammer the accelerator, it will not like to turn, so you've got to be very very smooth because you end up just going straight with no precautions the car will just not give a shit and it will not turn you will lose a lot of time so make sure that when you're doing turns you're gently increasing your um, gas pressure okay so for this bit this bit's kind of funky so you want to line yourself up if i can show you it here you want to line yourself up more closely to uh, the outside here. 
I would say try to clip the grass and then swing it into the corner. But what I did is I gave myself a bit of um, room to breathe because again, this is not like some super high tech, you're, you can't replicate and stuff. It's just a simple guided gold run and it's not, it shouldn't be that hard to see the lineups, but you basically, you just want to let go of the gas, carefully bringing it through into turn two. And when you see this one, two, three, four, the third to the third to fourth red line on the apex, that is when you want to start to uh, break. So you got one, two, three, back, front. I decided to kind of be, I was getting really frustrated because I was already maybe 20 minutes in. I know 20 minutes is not a lot. New settings, I was getting very frustrated and I was just like, I'm just going to be get very aggressive now because I already did about 10 laps. So I was just like, get aggressive with it. And I don't know why I've done half gas here. If you remember why I told you literally two seconds ago, you'll know why so holding the apex really tight you want to try and get to this outline here and then you want to get a really nice exit on the lineup now this corner it's fucked in the most nicest way possible so what you can do is you can actually hold this line here this line as long as two wheels two wheels <laughs> okay as long as two wheels are on this end line here this whole bit is your safe it's, it's just yours it's yours like starting out here on this line oops starting out here on this line here from the turn you you are amazing again I could have done this, but I'm not going to for this tutorial. But you can hold this line here. You or you can do what I did, take the safe route and then hold this line here. And then you kind of want to start breaking just as you pass this little diamonds. I guess I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck if I know what they're called. Just, just you see this, just, just, just break after you pass this. It's very simple. <laughs> And then shifting down as well, one, two, three, third apex. Now you want to hold as much apex as you can on this turn. You do not want to get caught in the trap by this here, because this whole corner, if your wheels hit the white line, like, so obviously, obviously my wheels are hitting it. Yeah, uh, you know, that makes no sense. But what I'm trying to say is, is if these wheels here, on this part right and these wheels are on the white line the lap will be disqualified so you want to be really in you want to in yourself as much as you can being aggressive on the accelerator so you can take a sharp corner and then cut as much as you can because this corner is broken it's not a fair corner you can literally go on this part with two wheels again i haven't done that it's just a nice exit that i got that let me um white line abuse because as long as you have three wheels past this white line this will keep you in the game and your lap will not be disqualified if at any point you have gone too far and not enough wheels are on the, past this line, your lap would be disqualified. This is a very specific um, corner. I, it takes a while to get used to. It might take you two attempts or three attempts to get down. But once you've got this down, you will be shaving off milliseconds of your time. So continuing on, you just want to be sure to hold this angle and this one too very wide angle 
Okay, now approaching the part I hate the most. This corner makes me want to, like, I was going to say defecate in the sink. I, I should probably cut. Anyways, so, <laughs> so, this part here, you want to break whenever you see, when you see this, so when this is coming up, or if you can't use this for reference, I've, I've drawn a little line here for you, but you can also use this shadow, you want to break just before you want to pass it. And then you want to try to hold like a line down here. It doesn't have to specifically be like the center of your roof connects with the line here. You just want to make sure that you are holding a really nice line. And I did get a bit shaky here. I won't lie. I panicked a little bit because of my traction. But this is kind of the line you want to have when approaching this. You want to steer it into you can take the long way but if you're gonna take the long way you need to reconnect with the blue line that i've drawn it looks shitty i know microsoft paint with the clutch but you just want to kind of like if you're going to take it wide that's fine but there is another line which you can do which is all the way down here and then into the red into the blue you can do that but again it depends on how well your exit is so personally me i went with the blue line that i've drawn where i just went and not because it's just for me my patience was burning and yeah so very aggressive on the brakes as well you kind of want to let it roll like a roller coaster you want to try and stay on the inside here as much as you can. Again, my dumbass fucked it. <laughs> I left too much room. But my exit was very aggressive. So I did lose a little bit of time. Because you want to like be at this part here. You don't want to go over it. You want to line up with it. So when it comes to this part too. You want to... Now, I did an advanced tech here. So I'm, I'm not really going to explain it, but basically all you want to do, uh, honestly, I should probably explain it, shouldn't I, for fuck's sakes. You get on this part here, and you want it to make, help you turn the car a lot more, so you can kind of see where the driving line is. You kind of just want to follow that. S trying, trying to stay close to the apex as possible. Again, you hear a lot of tire screech. That is because this car does not like to turn under heavy acceleration and it fucking annoys me. But anyways, continuing on. So again, I don't really have like I don't really have a place to where I can say, oh you should break, but try to like visualize like I guess break before this little patch that's in line with this i guess like if you've played gun Turismo 7 enough you take the this this corner the exact same as you would in the gr3 a gr4 and a road car honestly it's just slip and slides now i fucked up here don't shift down you want you want to try and like just keep stay on gear 3 I lost a lot of time. Stay on gear three because that line was actually not that bad watching the back, honestly. Now, are you, if you're thinking, oh, why have you stopped the, the playback? It's because this corner can actually make you lose a lot of time if you do it incorrectly. You don't want to, so not many people utilize like this little um, RPM meter with the little ball. You don't want it to be too far over. You want it to like kind of be, I'd say just under half of wherever the, like I'm gone way too far. You want it more up here. Just, it's just a smooth line is what you need. And the corner that killed me the most, what you want to do is, okay. So what you want to do, is just as you pass the white line 
leading on to this gray part white line to gray part in between your break you smash the break and you downshift i downshifted twice you want to hold this this will be your best friend this entire spot you want to hold that as if it's your marriage and you want to proceed to not bounce too much of the apex so you kind of want to stay just past this bit so you want to stay around here i bounced so this had a really shitty exit but with this corner you you might not have seen it in the demonstration run but you know as you start the time trial you get beep 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 what you want to do is you want to take the long way around so you to actually maximize your speed so you want to actually take the long way around but as you're doing your lap turn i turn before hit this um dark spot you don't really need i would say you want to be more out than in here and then be very aggressive on the accelerator as you exit and yeah that's your that is your gold medal it's not isn't i wouldn't say it's hard but it's not easy it's just a lot of practice but yeah anyways so that was tutorial number one i will see you for tutorial number two see you soon my cutie flower. Huh? <laughs>